Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to build an amazing looking portfolio website using WordPress. Now, if you clicked on this video, you probably already know how important having a great portfolio website is. As a creative, it's very, very important to show off your work and your website's going to basically make or break you getting your clients. And it's definitely one of the most important things that potential clients will see and you to judge whether or not they want to hire you. So yeah, I'll show you guys exactly step-by-step step how to build a great looking website. It's actually pretty simple. You don't need any coding experience. And yeah, all the resources that we talk about in this video are going to be down below as well. So I really encourage you guys to follow along and in no time you'll have an amazing looking portfolio website. Let's get started. So when it comes to building a website, the first thing you need to do is you need to find a web hosting platform. So if you guys use the link down below, it's going to take you to this exact website. And if you guys use code startup wise, it's going to give you a total of 90% off your web hosting. So Hostinger is one of my favorite web hosting platforms. I use it for a bunch of my websites and yeah, they're just really, really amazing. So what you want to do is click on that link link down below, you'll click claim deal. It's going to show you the three different plans. Now for most of you guys watching this, I would just recommend going with the premium web hosting. These might change depending on when you guys are watching this video, but with this plan, you guys are able to make a hundred different websites. You get unlimited bandwidth, free domain name, unlimited free SSL, which is very, very important and allows you to install WordPress really easily. If you just want to make one website, then this plan is fine as well. But guys, come on hundred websites versus one. I think this is a better deal. So I'll click on this right here. It's going to take you to your cart and from here you'll be able to choose a time period for your web hosting now obviously if you guys choose the 48 months one you get two months free it's only 2.99 a month and yeah this is the best bang for your buck if you do want to pay the lowest amount possible per month i would definitely not recommend going with this one i would choose at least 12 24 or 48 but 24 or 48 these are going to be the best deals with of course 48 being the best and guys building a website it's a long-term thing so yeah this plan is going to hold you accountable and make sure that you keep this website for a long time. So what we're going to do then is come here, enter in our email, and then it's going to have you enter in your payment information. Now, before I forget, you guys are definitely going to want to come here to the coupon code section because hosting here has actually hooked it up for my audience. This is an exclusive code only for you guys. So if you click on this and enter in startup wise, it's going to take an even bigger discount. So yeah, literally 130 bucks as of right now for four years of web hosting, which is just unheard of. Of course, you'll enter in all your information and then click secure payment. So after that, you'll be able to log into your account. And the first thing that we're going to do is claim our free domain. I'll click on this here and let's say we want to get Charlie Chang creative. Let's see if that is available. We'll come here to .com, check availability and awesome. This one's available, but if it's not, you guys can choose .co, .io. I wouldn't recommend choosing .net or any of the other ones, but yeah, we're in luck. So let's click claim domain. This is included with our plan. So it is free. After you enter all your information, you'll have to register the domain and that should take just a couple of minutes. So now we're going to come back to the main dashboard and we're going to come to premium web hosting. We'll click set up right here. This is going to take us through the setup process for your website. So since we're creating a new website, we'll select this. It's going to ask if you want to use WordPress or build using the hosting your website builder. Now, since this video is about using WordPress, we'll select this one. But of course, you guys can select whichever one you want. After that, it's going to have you create your login details for your WordPress account. And then you'll click continue here. Then we're going to choose our domain. So we'll have this selected and we'll click select and we'll click finish setup. So this is going to go through the setup process. This will take maybe one or two minutes. Now, after that's done, we'll be able to view our website. Now I will say if WordPress is not installed correctly, you'll want to come here to WordPress. And this is where you're going to be able to manually install WordPress to your website. Now to actually access the WordPress uh, dashboard to edit your website, what you're going to want to do is go to charliechangcreative.com slash WP admin, of course, replace that with your own domain. Adding the WP dash admin to the end of your URL is going to take you to the login page. So we'll enter in our login details from before. And once we log in, it's going to look something like this. So the first thing that I always do is come here to settings and we'll go to permalinks. I always change this to post name. This is just going to make your website look a lot better with the actual URL. That way, if you make a post or create a page, it's going to look a lot more clean. We'll click here, save changes. And then after that, we're going to come here to appearance. Now, this is basically where you choose the theme for your website. As you guys can see, uh, 2023, this is the default theme that's selected as of right now. What we're going to do is come here to add new theme. And here you guys will see there are a billion different themes. What I encourage you guys to do is just look through this, see if there's anything that looks like it could work well for your particular portfolio website. Now, if you find something that looks good, that matches your website, then just choose that and go with that. That's probably the easiest way 
way to make a website really, really quickly. But don't be afraid because if you choose something and want to change it later, it's totally fine. You can easily switch to a different theme. You guys can even search up here. So let's say we want to search up portfolio. It's going to show us a bunch of portfolio websites that we can choose from. And yeah, I don't know what exact site you guys are trying to make, but just choose accordingly and know that there are so many different options for you. So for this video, I'm going to search up Astra. This is a very fast, high performing WordPress theme that I recommend you guys to use. I have built multiple sites with this website and it's just a very good, like bare bones theme that you guys can use. That's highly, highly customizable. So we'll come here, we'll click install and that's going to install on our website. After that, we'll click activate right here and bam, now Astra is our active theme. Now, before we actually start to customize our website, we're going to come here to plugins. There are a ton of different plugins that you guys can get for WordPress. So what I'm going to do here is go to add new, and this is going to be a page with a ton of different plugins that you guys can choose from. This is really one of the best parts about WordPress. There are so many developers working on different plugins for your WordPress website. And what I'm going to do is search up Yoast. Yoast is a really good SEO plugin that I recommend you get. Ranking for SEO is definitely very, very important. So this is something you'll want to have. I'm not going to go into it in detail in this video, but it's just something that you should install. We'll click activate right here. We'll go back to plugins, add new, and we're going to install the Elementor plugin. So we'll find that it's right here. And this is basically a website builder that's going to make your website look really, really good. So we'll click install now. And guys, this is completely free. There's a free version as well as a pro version. If you're just starting out, I think the free one should be okay. But if you want your website to look really, really good and premium, you will want to upgrade to the pro plan. So if you guys click on the link down below, it's going to take you to this page on Elementor. This stuff's not very important right now, but if you do want to get the pro plan to make your website look the best, then they do have a few different plans you guys can choose from. This plan is $59 a year for one website. You can do three websites for 99 or 25 for 199. So just choose whichever one you want. This is by far the best deal, of course, per website. But yeah, as you guys will see in just a second, Elementor is a very great building tool that is going to make your website really, really cool. So now that I have those plugins added, let's actually take a look to see what our website looks like. And you guys, it's going to be very, very blank because we haven't started building it. But yeah, this is basically what it looks like. We'll come back here to dashboard. And what we're going to do is go to pages first. So let's add a page. Let's click add new right here. And this is going to open up the default block editor. This is basically what comes with WordPress. And while this is pretty good, I don't recommend using this, right? So we're going to come here to edit with Elementor. And that's going to open up the Elementor page builder. So obviously this section could probably be hours long, but I'm not going to make it too long just to save you guys some time. But you guys are going to see how powerful Elementor is. And I just recommend playing around with it. It's very, very easy to learn. It doesn't require any coding at all. All it requires is for you to drag and drop different elements over here. So let's say we want to create some type of hero banner. So what we'll do is click plus right here. It's going to ask us to select our structure. For this one, let's go with this. It's going to be one gigantic thing. What we're going to do is come here to content width, click full width right here. For the height, let's make it fit to screen and everything else looks pretty good. Now we're going to come here to style. We'll go to background and here you guys can see we can select to put a classic single color background, a gradient background or a photo. So let's click on that. I'm going to click the plus button right here. Select files. Let's open up my finder. Let's go find a photo to put here. And let's just say we want to use this one. Let's drag that over here. It's going to upload and we'll be able to click create a new gallery. After that, we'll click insert gallery here and bam, this is what it looks like. So of course, we're going to want to have some text here. So let's click plus right here. Let's add a heading. So we'll drag that over here. We're going to add Charlie Chang creative. We can change the color very easily by coming Coming here to style. Let's change the text color. Let's say black or let's do white. We can change the typography as well. So we can choose the font. We can choose the different sizes. Let's make this bold. We can play with around with all these different things. Let's actually create a text shadow so that it's a little bit easier to see. What we're gonna do is select the color here. We'll make it black, just like that. Good. After that's selected, we can actually change the blur mount, but let's leave it as is. Now we're going to come here to content. We'll make sure that this is centered and cool. Let's go back here. Let's add another section. So let's say we want to add some text. Let's add that here by dragging it in. We can write in a bunch of text like this. Of course, that's a little bit hard to see. So let's come here to style. We'll select our color. We'll make it white. 
Let's change the alignment so that it's centered. Let's change the width because this is a bit too wide. Let's say we want to get to be something like that. That looks a little bit better. So since we actually want this text over here, what we're going to do is it's a little hard to see, but we're going to come here. We're going to click on this and that's going to take us to the layout section, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to horizontal align and click center. That's going to center that text over here, which looks a lot, a lot better. Now let's say we want to actually add in a button, right? So we'll come here to button. We'll drag that over here. Of course, this button looks a little bit wonky. So let's actually come here to the text. We can say portfolio. We'll put the link to the portfolio, which we'll build later uh, right here. Alignment, center, of course. Size, you guys can change this as you want. We'll do small. You guys can also change the icon and the spacing. We can come here to style and we can choose the color. So let's make this a black button like that. For the typography, we'll click on this if you want to change that. Let's change the size. Let's change the weight to bold. And cool. Now we have a button that goes to your portfolio link. So this is just a super basic example of what you guys can build with your homepage. Down here, you'll probably want to insert other widgets in different sections. So we'll come here, click plus. We'll select our structure. Let's say we want to do this one. We'll come back here to our elements. And as you guys can see, a lot of these elements are only available in the pro subscription for Elementor Pro. If you guys want any of these, unfortunately, you will have to upgrade. But like I said earlier, it's well, well worth it. I use Elementor Pro for my websites and it's it's very, very worth it. So again, if you guys want to get Elementor Pro, that link is going to be down below. For now, let's say we want to add an icon here. We can add some text, of course, and we can also add a header at the top. You can do that for all three. You guys can duplicate and side by side. It's really, really up to you guys. You guys can also start putting your gallery on here. So this is your actual portfolio. We can click plus right here, select that. And yeah, if you want to do a portfolio and you do have Elementor Pro, you'll be able to just drag this in. So make sure you remember to click publish that's going to save the page and now you guys can probably see that we don't have a menu up here so what we're going to do is come here we'll go to exit page let's come back here to pages let's click edit right here we'll be able to change the information for this page that we just made let's name it home and click update right here and now let's say you want to build your actual portfolio section right so we'll click add new right here and you'll be able to use of course elementor again to build this page out essentially what you guys can do is use either the portfolio portfolio thing. If you want to get pro, you can use gallery right here, or there's many different ways you guys can do it, right? You can simply drag in images like this. So we can click on this. Let's go to style. We can change the width, all this stuff right here. For the content, we'll click on this to choose the image. Let's say we want to put in something like this, right? Okay. Let's put that in, click insert media and bam. Now we have an image like that. There's many other different ways you guys can do this. So I'll show you guys how to do that right here. If you guys go to plugins and click add new, what we can do is actually search up portfolio. As you guys will see, there are many developers creating these different plugins that you can install, and that's going to be able to really easily put a gallery into your website. So let's say we want to do this one. We'll click install right here. We'll click activate, and now we'll see visual portfolio right here. What we can then do is go here to portfolio items, and we can click add new right here. I'm not going to get into how to use this in this video, but just know that you guys can install install as many plugins as you want. However, I will say that the more plugins you have, the slower your website is going to be. But just know that you can pretty much do anything you want because there's going to be a plugin that exists for that specific purpose. For this particular video, I showed you guys how to install Astra as a theme, how to fully customize it using Elementor. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, you guys can anytime come here to appearance, click on themes and add a new theme. The easiest way, in my opinion, to build a portfolio website is just to pay pick a theme that's already built out as a portfolio. So for example, let's say you like this one. Let's preview that. So any of these themes that you like that you guys think you can use for your own website, just install it and try playing around with it. It'll come with the elements needed to really easily be able to build your website. And yeah, that's basically how you guys build a portfolio website using WordPress. And if you guys want some more detailed videos, I have a bunch
bunch of other videos on this channel showing you guys how to use WordPress. I know we didn't go into it in too much detail in this video, but yeah, like I said, I do have other videos showing you in much more detail how to build your website. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, all the links to the resources that we talked about in this video are gonna be down below in the description. If you guys use the links, it's going to help out the channel. It's gonna allow us to keep making free tutorials just like this. And yeah, I just wanna say thank you in advance. I know we covered a lot, but make sure to bookmark this video and yeah, refer to it anytime you want. Skip to the exact section that you need a recap on. And yeah, I'm super excited to see what you guys built. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free tutorials and guides helping you to start up your business. Anyways, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.